Hello there lovers and friends. This video is in response to the video that I made titled, This Woman Tried to Embarrass Me on Live TV. And now this video has amassed close to 850,000 views and that is not normal for me or for my channel. And so I thought to not respond to it and to make a commentary about the kinds of comments and DMs I've received since making that video would be socially irresponsible because I want to continue the conversation because I think it started a very important one about people feeling undervalued, underestimated, and overall just uh, looked over, especially in a working environment due to whatever their ex defining factor is. Um, so I really want to address that today, but before we dive into that, I do want to address Sarah Shahi, whom that video was directed towards and say, thank you for your apology. Um, for those of you who watch my channel, you are familiar with apology languages and how much I'm obsessed with them. And you would also know that my apology languages, my apology language is making restitution. And I mean it like in the most literal way. Like if you break my watch, offer to fix it. And that essentially means if you do something bad to me, please do something good for me that's equivalent. So if you put me down on a public platform, uplift me also on a public platform. And Sarah said she was sorry if I was offended and also proceeded to very graciously go on and promote my book to her audience, encouraging them that I am someone to listen to, someone to pay attention to. And that hits my apology language. So I accept and I would like for us to move on. Anybody who has been tweeting or DMing uh, Sarah on my behalf, have. Thank you. I appreciate the gesture, but also know that I think this is over and I think all lessons have been learned and we can move on. I've made mistakes before. People have made 20 minute videos about me, about the mistakes that I have made and I've had to learn from them. And through your forgiveness and graciousness, I've grown to be a better person, but I couldn't do that without the space to be imperfect. So we have to give others the exact same thing that we would like for ourselves. So we're dropping that. We're no longer focusing on the person. We're now focusing on the lesson at large. And to do that, I want to draw upon some inspiration that I've gotten from an incredible woman of late. Um, and that woman is Beyonce. I don't know if you guys have been listening to the Lion King soundtrack, but it's been on repeat in my life. And the one song that I cannot get enough of is Bigger. And there are three lines in that song that like, yo, they just shocked my system and spoke to my soul. I don't know if Beyonce meant them in the way that I interpreted them, but you know what? I'm gonna go ahead and give my interpretation. The lines are, step out of your estimate, step in your essence and know that your excellent rise. And that first line, step out your estimate, yo, it is so powerful to me. And to exemplify why, I wanna do an exercise with all of you. So if you are down, go to the comment section right now and answer this question. Give me an estimate of how much you think this cup costs. Just give a, let's play the prices right right now. Estimate how much this cup is worth. This video is sponsored by Squarespace. From websites and online stores to marketing tools and analytics, Squarespace is the all-in-one platform to build a beautiful online presence and run your business. Squarespace is where Shan hosts and designs her websites, including her personal site and thegameofdesire.com. Go to squarespace.com slash shambooty to start playing around for free. Now, you probably put somewhere under the $10 mark, but what if I told you that this cup was worth $300,000? You'd probably have some questions. You'd probably be maybe even a little concerned, maybe even a little shocked, perhaps even pissed. Why would that cup be worth $300,000? I've seen cups like this before and they're $7 at the most. But maybe this cup was recovered from Jesus' tomb. Maybe this cup allows you to shoot lasers out of your eyes. I, this is not literally this cup. I'm not sure what it's worth. But nonetheless, there could be something really special about this cup, despite the fact that it looks like other cups that are worth less than it is. Um, this cup is beyond its est estimate. This cup, in essence, has stepped out of its estimate. Um, there was a movement in around 2005 called the Occupy Movement. It was Occupy Wall Street and it was anger that people had because there was a big separation between the haves and the have-nots and that gap was increasing. You guys may know this as 1% of the population um, had or occupied, I believe, like 90% of the wealth in the country. And what that really emphasized to me is that a lot of people don't get the opportunity to step out of their estimate. Meaning if you're born into a particular tax bracket, if you're born into a particular neighborhood, very few people get the opportunity or chance to um, extend beyond that. And so for a lot of people who have stepped out of your estimate, 
Um, know that you are the minority, not the majority. Know that you are excellent and that you are doing something right. And know that you're a little shocking to people. Know that you are the cup that's worth $300,000 when someone was expecting it was worth $3. And the thing about that is, is when you step out of your estimate, you do have to answer a lot more questions. You do have to deal with people saying, well, I don't, I don't get it. That cup is definitely not worth that because I've seen that cup's parents. I've seen where that cup comes from, or I've seen cups like that before once again, whom this is how I have perceived them, or this is how I have estimated their worth. Um, and I look at myself as somebody who has stepped out of my estimate. I am not what you expect somebody who looks like me or who is my age to be doing. I'm not at the level or the financial level for that matter of fact of somebody who is in my age bracket or again, who is in my archetype. And for that reason, I have to almost expect that people are going to have tons of questions for me, tons of judgment, tons of second guessing, and that's par for the course. And hopefully through the work that I do and the exposure that I bring to my given archetype, um, I'm able to make it easier for the people who come after me. I'm able to increase the estimation so that other people who price themselves as a little higher have less questions asked to them. Step in your essence to me truly means that like, okay, I belong here. And I, I said that line in that video and it wasn't something I scripted, it just came from my heart. And I, I repeat that to myself often when I'm in places. I belong here, step in your essence. Like even though I am a fish out of water in many cases, I'm a fish who's learned how to walk and I've put the work in to being able to walk. Let me be in my grace. I'm walking around these people and I'm a goddamn fish, but nonetheless, I'm in my essence. Do you ever go to a really expensive store? Um, do me a favor, watch yourself, pay attention to yourself when you are at H&M or Zara. Think about the way that you look through the clothing rack, the confidence that you have, the way that you put clothes up against your body, put it back, ask questions, and you feel natural. Now think about yourself when you go to a very expensive store, when you are in like a Barney's or a Saks or um, how you like are more careful, you like look at price tags secretly, like you're really not in your essence. You're not standing in your grace, like I belong here, I can afford things here, I am shiny and this is a space for me that I can occupy. Um, so a lot of times we do that, I think, in life, when we don't feel like we're in our essence, even though you're in the store, so look around, like you belong there. Um, because we don't feel like we look like the part and we may feel like the store clerk is looking at us like we, don't, we can't afford anything, we start to act like we don't belong there. So step in your essence to me means like, you are there because you belong there. And then once you've done that, you can know that you are excellent. And that essentially to me means be undeniable. Undeniable is a word that I use a lot. And that's because it has really high importance in my life, especially given the fact that I'm somebody who's out of my estimate. I have to be undeniable. That's why I'm going back to school in September, despite the fact that I just put out a book that takes up all my time. I have massive projects that are coming up. I'm overwhelmed, but I also acknowledge the fact that I have to continue to affirm my excellence and make myself as undeniable as possible. And that means I'm striving to have the word doctor in front of my name one day. And that also means I gotta play the game and go back to school. So, undeniable for you might mean something different. So again, especially for people who are out of their estimate, for people who don't look like the archetype of success that you currently have or want to achieve, you're going to have to work a little harder to convince people. And that's the unfortunate reality of the way the world works because people don't ask questions, they make assumptions until that changes. It's you who has to change. It's you who has to step up and rise to the occasion. And one of the ways that I practice undeniability is by making myself and my brand and my message excruciatingly clear, undeniably clear. And a tool that I have used to do that has been Squarespace. And Squarespace is a partner that I've been working with for the past year. They have empowered me to create not just one, but two professional websites that clearly define what it is that I do and what I have intentions of doing. Thank you so much for watching this video. I wanna make this to first and foremost say, I'm in awe of you. 
I don't like to use the word I'm proud of you because proud to me has the connotation that I'm somehow responsible for what you've accomplished and you've done it by yourself. You have through choosing good relationships even, through surrounding yourself with loving people and also giving back to those relationships and give back to you, you have put yourself in a position to do some incredible things. You more than likely are out of your estimate. And when you look at where your parents were or where your grandparents were and where you are now, you have, you're beyond their wildest dreams. And I'm, my, one of my friends, B Mike, has this t-shirt that he sells that says, you are your ancestors dreams. And I'm telling you without knowing you more than likely you are. Um, you have worked your butt off to be more than you were estimated to be. I know that we all like to think that we are destined for great things, but if your parent was a farmer and their grandparents were a farmer and their great grandparents were a farmer, you're supposed to be a farmer. So if you're an entrepreneur who is in a big city trying to sell your startup tech company, you are beyond what you're supposed to be. You have excelled beyond what your estimated threshold is. You are in here, you're out here making history, making a new pathway for your family and for people who look like you and identify like you. And I'm in awe of you. I'm in awe of the work that you've done. Um, and doesn't mean the work is over though. We have to continue to strive to, strive to break beyond the molds. So. In the comment section below, I would love to hear from you and continue this conversation in a progressive way. Let me know what is your estimate when you look at, again, your family and people who look like you and people who are around your age, what's your estimate? Who are you really supposed to be? And then let me know who you are. All right, so we all know that Squarespace has stunning templates so you can design your dream site. But here's some things you might not know about. Simultaneous posting. Auto post your content to Twitter, Facebook, or Tumblr. Traffic overview. Gain insights into the top traffic sources, products, device types, browsers, and operating systems by visits. Subscriptions. Easily sell subscriptions to products and services on a weekly or monthly basis to generate reoccurring revenue and build customer loyalty. Email campaigns. Stand out in any inbox with Squarespace email campaigns. Site management. Squarespace blogs lets you manage blog comments and entries on the go. If you listened this far, go check it out for yourself at squarespace.com for a free trial. And when you're ready to launch, go to squarespace.com shambooty to save 10% off your first purchase of a website or a domain.